Welcome in, everybody, to episode three of our Farewell City. It's wonderful to have you here, and I want to thank you for joining me. On today's episode, we're going to be building the most beautiful church City Skylines has ever seen. And we're going to make some fantastic upgrades to Farewell's education facilities. In addition to all that, we're going to upgrade all our roads and develop a massive expansion to our residential area. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alrighty folks, so here we are. It's episode three. We got lots to do today, but I think the first thing we want to talk about is I think we've got to talk about the roads. We've got we've got dirt roads everywhere. It's been way too long. I'm sure you're all thinking, why does he still have dirt roads? Well, it will be no longer. We're getting rid of all the dirt roads and we're gonna expand our road network greatly down this direction. And we are going to finally deal with this big green bar here that's been plaguing us for oh so long. So let us get started. Let's take a look at the roads that we're gonna use. Uh, I have a couple of things I wanna do here. We've got the um, these big roads uh, expansion pack thingy that you can get out the workshop. There's two in here that I specifically want to use right out of the gate. We've got the big urban roads two lane uh, right here. This one here. Does it update? No, it's got the same picture every time. Okay. But anyway, let, let me just take a look here. So so this is the road we're going to use here for some of the main drags. Kind of This is going to be kind of the collector road. And I really like the look of it. Uh, it's going to come out here like this. And it's it's a clean look. It's It's really nice. You know, simple little stop lines, double yellows, uh, not a whole lot of extra appearance to it. I really like it. And it's actually going to run out this way as well. And the main idea is that it's going to be on major collector roads, uh, major thoroughfare. Uh, thoroughfare is probably overstating it, but uh, let me just uh, jump through here and upgrade all the ones that I want to see in this road. So that's the, the main idea right there, is uh, I also think maybe I could probably do this one coming up here, because this is coming off of, this is essentially a collector, and this actually will go in this direction as well. So let's go ahead and actually draw that in here, like that, and then upgrade this one as well. That goes right up to the school, we'll be dealing with this very shortly, filling this space in. It's going to look real nice, I think. So that's the idea there. And yeah, the rest are gonna be, uh, actually, hmm, I can't decide now that I'm looking at it. Pearl Street's a really major street. Um, we of course named that last episode. And it, it does drive along the school here. It's gonna go all the way down to the water. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna start with the other one and then maybe we'll upgrade it. Because we're, we're going to put our church in here somewhere. And I was kind of thinking the idea of, of it, of Pearl Street kind of leading straight up to where the church is. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. That's kind of the idea. So maybe we'll change that. But for now, uh, we're going to go to the second road. The second road is essentially your local kind of pedestrian. Or not, like your local residential road, I guess is what you call it. Just a simple, there's nothing on it. It's just... You know, you've got these speed limit signs, essentially, and you've got your uh, your lights, and that's it. And, and that's really what you'll see almost entirely when you're talking about uh, local type roads, just for you, that you, the street you live on, right? Like, there's not typically a lot of lines and, you know, markings and left-hand lane turn, right-hand lane turn stuff. There's nothing like that. So this is... Primarily, what you'll always see uh, in these local kind of areas. So we're going to go ahead and use this guy pretty much everywhere else. So let me just take a few moments. All right. So we have done basically all of the roads 
except for the couple major roads I wanted to take a look at. And plus this one over here. So I, I have the idea for a country road of some sort, but a paved country road I'd like to do up through here. So we're going to take a look at a poss couple possibilities for that. But the two that I know of for sure that I want to do is the uh, obviously the main boulevard and then our main street here. The main boulevard, I, I, I went back and forth on this, but I think I'm just going to do kind of a basic, um, like a basic four lane road here. Yeah, this is it here. Okay, I thought I thought there was one there. Okay, so this is it here. And this road will, will get upgraded as time goes on. Um, as you would imagine, as a city develops, major roads get upgraded bigger and bigger. As this becomes a main boulevard that goes into uh, all this land over in here. And obviously we're going to have like a downtown area, maybe a big stadium or something. We've got all kinds of different ideas for what can potentially happen here. Um, when this becomes a big boulevard, then it'll obviously be a lot more than, than four lanes. But for now, we're going to make it a four laner. It's probably even more than we need, to be completely honest. But it's future, pre future proofed future proofed for a while uh which is good and uh it looks pretty good it's got our we've, it's got some uh traffic lights on us now i think i do want to leave this as a dirt road for now i don't know just kind of a nostalgia thing maybe i don't know but um we are going to do one more road change here and this is going to be a doozy uh, and i'm looking forward to it. i think you guys are going to love this street it is going to require us to take a bit of a mulligan to say the least because we're actually going to have to move all of the all the buildings back off the road a bit because this is a wide one but it looks fantastic it's exactly what i'd want to have and it's this guy right here it's the 60 they call it called the 6090 uh, but it's 60 for uh, degree i guess parking road two lane urban i guess you could i guess you could choose because you get to choose i believe you can choose Either uh, we're going to use the 60, but you can choose the 60 or the 90. And you can see here where we're hanging over. So I'm going to go ahead and slap these in um, like this. It's a little bit darker, actually, it looks like, than our other roads. But I think that's perfectly fine. It's not so bad. It's a pretty smooth transition. I think we'll live with it for now. You can get a mod, uh, or at least they used to have a mod for a while that a while back that you could get which essentially allowed you to adjust the colors the colors that you uh your roads are and you can make them darker and lighter and um yeah we'll, we'll see this this is not the best just darkness laying out here so maybe i'll look into the potential for changing the colors of roads and stuff some of those details but uh, as you can see, we've got a, an issue here with with some stuff in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use move it real quick just to give you an idea what, I'm, what the plan is. So I'm going to move these like this. I'm going to just move them all back to the edge of the sidewalk here, essentially. And like I said, I've, I mentioned this before. We're going to do some pretty major changes, and we're going to like make this as far as each individual building being the exact one we want, but we want to get a lot of these to level three. Um, and then once we've got everything exactly where we want it, then we'll, uh, or everything else, I should say, exactly as we want it, then we'll make the adjustments and and kind of line up uh, the city the way we want. Uh, this main street, I should say. But how much better does that look? Obviously, other than the van driving on the sidewalk because city skylines. But like, it's got some nice wide sidewalk, which you'd want to see in a shopping district like this. Uh, we're going to have parking here. We can jump in and I can show you what that looks like. So we go in here and we click on this and we've got these parking things. So we go, you can do like this so that they're straight out, which is fine. But I kind of like the angled look. Uh, I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are, but I kind of like the angled look like this. And I think I would like to see it angled towards... So we'll go like this. And then I'll use the other one on this side. Now what I'm thinking, maybe, is we're going to want some probably, you know, a couple handicap spots. 
So we could go like this. That looks real good. Oh man, did that look good. Whew. So, and then we have some options here. Now we have this one, but and they're, they're straight. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. We don't have a lot of extra options. What are these angled ones? Uh, I can go like this. Let's try this, and then one of these. I may have to get in there with move it on that. Does it even let you do that on these when they're snapped? I think it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. So we go something like that. I don't mind that. <laughs> Immediately the uh, the handicap spots are taken up. So then we would want to go back in and find those again. We would want... Which ones was it? Yeah, it was these ones here. Now these, now it seems to be clipping in a different spot. Let me, hmm. I think it's because I put that in. So maybe if I go like this, then I can clip to that. Kind of. Not really. I'm gonna have to get back in there with move it and do that, which isn't too bad. There we go. This guy could maybe go down a bit. There we go. Looks pretty good. And then when we come back over here to this next one, uh, we'll be able. We I think I would do probably another handicap section here, and then all the way, and then we'll do handicaps here and here, potentially or something like that. You want to make sure you've got you know pretty good proportion. But yeah, how good does this look? Now the cars are starting to park. Oh my god, that looks good. Once these get filled up with cars, get pedestrians walking up and down these things, getting it popping. Ooh, looking good, looking good. All right, uh, let me let me change the rest of these, and uh, and then we'll get back to you. All right, so I've uh, I've reset the the locations here. Now, what I do need to do, I believe, is I'm gonna need to. I don't think it would despawn them, but just for the sake of my sanity, we're gonna. This one's actually kind of messed up a bit, um, but I just want to rezone these back here. And what we'll have to do is we'll have to zone this all the way back to the residential. We had left that crack so that there was a space there between the residential and the commercial. Now there's not going to be again, so the, the noise could become an issue again as well. But what I'd like to do is we'll, we'll get a fence going a lot. We'll get a fence going in between these and then foliage the crap out of it. Like just put it, just line the trees right along the fence as well. Make sure that there's as much sound barriers we can possibly muster uh, in this area to, to make that work because I think it's fine it looks really how good does this look oh my god look at this filled up with the cars mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I love it all right let's uh let's finish off the parking stalls and then we'll uh then we'll move on to other things
All right, so there you go. Main Street looking a thousand times better, if I do say so myself. Looking really, really nice. The, the cars are starting to fill out in the parking here. Uh, I really like the way it came out overall. Um, yeah, no, I, I like the way it looks a lot. It, I, I, especially because it's wider now. Um, it looks so much better that it's wider. When it was those, when the, those kind of frontal buildings right up against the street were that close together, it just felt so claustrophobic through here. So now you got the nice wide sidewalks, you got the parking spaces, you got lots of room for the, the driving down the middle. I, I really think that this this turns out really good. I do need to get my hands on some parking decals, or sorry, some well, some decals for a bunch of things, but. In particular, I'd like to see some decals for crosswalks. These, these roads, in particular, do not come with crosswalks. And these ones don't have them a lot either. So I'd like to be able to um, to add them in where I need them uh, to add to the realism as well. I don't have one available. I checked and we don't have it. So I'm going to uh, have to download one off the workshop. And then we'll get the crosswalks going. And this will look a lot better in here. So now that we've got the roads upgraded, we have the next big project. The big project is this is kind of the biggie for the day, honestly. We're gonna we're gonna upgrade this high school big time. We're gonna make a really nice church and cemetery, but we have a major problem in this city, and that is, like I said, the the lack of residential housing. So we're going to start expanding. I want to basically fill all of this out. Uh, with roads and then we'll just slowly start to, to bring in the residential so let's get right down to business on that All right, as you can see here, we're making some pretty good progress. Took a little finagling, but I was able to make this work. And uh, I wanted to get some sort of a, a swoop along here so that we can start to make a waterfront section. We'll, we'll have this be a whole separate section of homes, maybe a little bit fancier homes uh, along here. Maybe just slightly fancier. I don't know, we'll see how we, how we like. Uh, I like the idea of maybe using a couple of these spots as parks. To help parkify this area a little bit and um, and make this look a little bit more complete as a neighborhood I really want to specify early on need some water pipes as well I really want to make sure early on in this in this neighborhood that we're really stressing the importance of a really nice friendly environment lots of parks wonderful place to live all those kinds of good things so we're doing all our best efforts there. 
Uh, you can see here, I'm, I'm also making everything three by four. And I'm also making sure to have everything facing the, the streets here and not the, the avenues going this way. Uh, particularly, kind of like everything below this line, uh, below this line here to the right. I want everything looking like that. I want it to look like a really organized kind of thought out process. These would be the more collector type lane and then this would be, uh, so we'll have that, you know, and it'd just be a really organized, you know, the town knew what they were doing basically when they, when they went about uh, the process. So I'm making sure that I don't do side roads. So everything spawns on the middle roads and, uh, and things like that so we're just going to continue to move through here and zone things up uh, the best way I know how and grow that population get rid of that big green bar you can see here actually we've actually put a dent in it we actually could use a little bit more commercial and I do want to finish this commercial section off in here so I'm going to go ahead and spam a little bit more commercial down in there all right so we've got a lot more residential going. We've actually got a little bit of commercial demand, even a little bit of industrial demand going. So things are starting to look up. I was thinking what I might do is do a little bit more road expansion over here on this side of the uh, of the city or the town or the village or whatever we're calling this right now. It's 4,094 people at the moment. So I'd like to do a little bit more expansion, like I said, out this way and then and then we'll get into the high school, I promise. Uh, I, I think this is pretty much where I'm going to leave it for today. Like we'll continue to residential this down here. These roads will probably just siphon into here. And, and then this will somehow meet up this way. And then we'll use this as a basis for some sort of a separate look at the, at the tip here. Um, but overall, I kind of like the way this is going to look. I, I'm really feeling good about it. So yeah, not too shabby at all. Okay, so it appears as though we've uh, fulfilled our needs on the residential side for a while, but it now looks like we're creeping up on a little demand for commercial. And I didn't really have a plan to expand commercial other than a little bit here maybe today. I don't know if I want to go this way today, but I was thinking this is getting pretty big over here and we still don't have any commercial. I feel like maybe the potential for commercial in this little block is not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with some roads here. Uh, this should line up perfectly. I'm not sure if I can get it. There we go. Get it to pop. Does that pop in there nicely? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I like that. I think I like that. Just a little bit of extra commercial, a little place, you know. So if you're if you're living in this area, there's something quick to get to, as opposed to going up the main street. And, and then potentially a little bit in here eventually. And then probably over here somewhere we would want something. But I think this is actually a pretty good idea. So we're gonna we're gonna run with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and I wanted to make I wanna make sure it spawns on this side and even leave a little bit of a buffer so that we're not getting that noise pollution over here. So I'm just gonna leave a space like this. And then I might even do whoops. I might even do like a, a fence and some trees. Uh, along here eventually to kind of make sure that this doesn't this doesn't bleed in over here so we're gonna do some three by fours I think we're gonna have a little bit of commercial over it's gonna feel real nice I think uh, these little blocks so this is gonna be is this is gonna be a park this is gonna be a park maybe this is a little park as well just this little parks all around I like that we can just make shift drone parks um, and then there'll be enough space, I think, that we could put residential here and residential here across from those parks. And then we can we can make this space filled in with lots of uh, with trees and stuff to keep that buffered away from the, the things. So it's a little strip of commercial here. I think I like it. Maybe maybe as we continue this up this way, we'll do a little. We'll continue the commercial out here a little bit. And then fill this in with residential eventually, I think. Not too bad. But it's time to move on. It's time to move on. Now, what I'd like to do is I want to grade this out. I want to make sure that everything here is perfectly graded out. This is going to be a big project. The, uh, the township is going to be investing a lot of money into this project. And we're going to want 
to make sure that everything is perfectly graded and smooth in here. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's all good to go and ready for the project. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're fully graded and ready to go. Now I want to extend this road here. Uh, I don't want it to go all the way through. I don't want it to be a through road here. I want it to come to, I don't know, maybe something like this. I could, I could always potentially move it, we use move it to move it a little bit just to create a little bit. Maybe we put a few trees along there. But let's not worry about that this moment. I want to get to work on this parking lot here, which is going to be the basis for uh, the central part of this area. So obviously people can park at school, stuff like that. So let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so that worked out really well. Nicely, uh, nicely tied up here. We, we like again, no controller can play with us a little bit, and and we're gonna want to put some, uh, some just some trees, bushes, something in here in the middle, and we'll clean up the whole area as well. But that's pretty good. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to get in some of the extra facilities that this place offers. Now this particular high school has a couple of extensions. It's got like a little, well, it's got a gymnasium and it's got a little study hall type thing and I want to get these included as well. But this is going to be the gymnasium. So we need to come in here. We need to go gymnasium. Here it is here. And we're going to slap this on this road here. And I think I want to have it set off for sure here. So that this is probably good here. We'll probably bring this out one more. And then the other one we want to do is the... Hmm, I think it's called like a study hall. Yeah, here it is here. Um, and then this one here we want to live kind of here as well. It's going to sit on one of those paths also like this. That looks pretty good. Because the next thing I want to do actually is I kind of want to get an idea of where the stadium is going to fit. So the high school stadium that goes with this is... Is it going to be under here? I think it's here at the football stadium. Yeah, this is the one we want here. So this is going to go something like here, but it's not going to quite... I'm going to move it just a little bit off of this because I want to have space for a pathway through here that connects up and then also room for like a fence line in that. And I also wouldn't mind it kind of lining up this whole thing. So if I go like this... I wouldn't mind it kind of lining up on this corner here, but it also, maybe that's not possible, I don't know. We also need to make sure that this is, this is pretty good here, that's fine. Let's see what we can do with the path, so come back in here, and again I'm just going to start this path like this. This. I think that works pretty well. We can actually potentially move it over onto the edge of this a bit more. Like that. And we can still get the, the fence along here. We want this to be fenced off, obviously. This field. So that looks pretty good there. So this is the basic idea of how the high school is supposed to look. We're going to need some fencing, lots of trees, stuff like that. So let's uh, let's begin the work on some of that. Actually, the first thing I want to do is potentially move this. I talked about wanting this a little bit further off the street, and I think 
that's probably better and we still have a little bit of room here we can kind of split the difference maybe on where this thing lies yeah I like that there's still room here put some some bushes or trees or something like that up in there we can start to make this place look a little bit prettier
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go ahead and say we're done with the high school for today. Well, high school and elementary school, I guess, this whole educational block, if you will. I've, uh, I've been nitpicking and poking around and deciding where to put little pieces of detailing, and uh, it's taken longer than I probably needed it to be, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm really, really happy with it. But we have another thing to do today. One more thing to do that's on the agenda, and that is our church and cemetery. So let me jump in here and build some roads that I think will fit in with what I'm going for here. And, uh, and then I'll be back. So I've uh, I've done what I needed to do, upgraded some roads, and we've created a spot here for our church and cemetery. I, I like the idea of sticking it right in beside the farm, you know, kind of on the outskirts of town. It just kind of feels like where you'd see it. It just, it just feels right. So I, I'm glad that I've uh, chosen this area. I think this is going to work out really nice for us. We're going to see what happens here, but the first thing we need to do is we need to find our church and we need to place it down and see how it's gonna look. Alrighty, I found it. I found it. This is the one we want. This is the one I like. This is the one. We got it. It's actually got a bit of a noise barrier. I didn't notice that earlier, but that shouldn't be a problem. So it, it kind of clicks onto the street unusually uh, on this side like this instead of at the front. It's kind of unusual, but I love the church. It's exactly what I want for the feel here. It's just, it's just absolutely perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I want it to be lined up along so that it kind of faces Pearl Street here, right in like, the, like you know, maybe it was built a long time ago when Pearl Street was a main road or something like that. This part got taken out perhaps for, you know, I think it was gonna be either parking or a park or something like that that might have a walkway come through here. Um, but yeah, I think that's the plan. So what I wanna do is I wanna move this guy around. And then it's time to get to work. I mean, those look absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to place uh, the rest of them maybe around here. I don't think I'm going to put them inside, but just it's another piece to polish off the outside. And then and then we'll get the uh, cemetery pieces going and uh, we'll get this place uh, done up real nice. All right, so we got the flower beds put in place here along the outside and the, the church area is already looking really nice. We have a few little things left to do in here, but 
Uh, I already love the way it looks so far. Uh, now it's time to move on to the cemetery, and I want to, to uh, show you guys a little bit about what we've got here. Lots of different assets, lots of different potential things to set up here. Um, we've got some stuff like this. Just want to kind of give you an idea. Some of it's a little bit more formal looking, so we've got, you know, those are kind of pieces that we can use there. We've also got individual, much more detailed stuff. Lots of things like this. Um, we could, you know, maybe sprinkle a few of these throughout. We'll see, I don't know. Uh, and then we also have these ones here, and there's a bunch of different varieties of all of these here. I'm not gonna throw them all down at this moment, whoa. Um, but those look really nice as well, so I, I feel like I want to use a fair amount of that. And then finally you can see down here there's also like particularly beautiful intricate little work done on some of these. Um, you know, a few varieties of those. I, I don't think it would look too realistic for them to all look like that. Maybe in a much more modern cemetery, something that's, you know, only been around for the last 20 or 30 years. and. And it's, you know, very, you know, formal looking kind of area. But I want this to kind of look like it's been a cemetery for a long time and, and have gone through different stages of of growth, I guess you will say, uh, as, as, the, as the decades have gone on. So those are a bunch of the assets we have as options. The other thing that we have, if we go into the park section, we've actually found, we have a couple things in here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not. I might use them very sparingly. But the, these came with the pack as well. They're actually kind of, they're like morning areas, I guess they call them. Um, look pretty formal with the with the bricks on there, but they're also well done. So we're either going to use them or might use them as inspiration to set up a couple spots. Uh, we'll see. For now, I'm going to delete those. Uh, and the other thing we have, the last thing I wanted to show you was we have, uh, do, 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 where were they? Oh yeah, in the air parks, there we go. Is, do you have these um, kind of mausoleum looking things here? Like this. Um, throw them down like this. I'm not sure if we got them in the right order. Or facing the right way. Yeah, I think we do, yeah. So these are really nice looking. Um, and I would like to be able to use these. Maybe we've only got the three of them, so we're not going to be able to use too many of them. Maybe each one of them, one, you know, a couple times, maybe. Um, I was thinking that maybe somewhere not too close to the church, like maybe along the back wall, like this, we could set up a few of them, uh, or potentially like in the corner here, um, or around the end of this path. I don't know. Um, we'll figure something out there. I definitely would like to use them a little bit, so. Um, I'm just going to drag those maybe to the back corner so that we've got those in position like that. And then we've got all these pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and start to put some uh, some of this together. Some, I don't know, get some ideas going, get some ideas flowing. And, and when we come back, I'll try to have a little bit of this filled in for you.
Alrighty, so we started to make some progress, and I was laying down, I got lots of, uh, of graves marked in here, we've got a little bit of wear on the grass to kind of give it a little bit of depth of, uh, of character there, I think that does a really nice job there, putting in that ruined grass texture alongside, and feels pretty good, I've gotten a lot of stuff done so far. I decided as I was going through here, I'm like, I want to kind of put the trees down first in some of this areas and kind of allow that to dictate a little bit about where the graves will go and how they'll be broken up a little bit and things like that. So I suppose the idea being over time that, you know, as you look for, for ways to expand where you would put the graves, you know, you want to keep a lot of the big featured trees that had grown in the area. Um, you know, assuming that this is a really densely forested space that we're, we're living in here, even though we've, we've cleared out a lot of trees and need to fill them back in, but just make believing along the way, you know, this is a mixture of the trees that were growing in this area and a lot of the big featured ones, you know, you would keep around, obviously clear out the space as needed for graves, but keeping, keeping the, the feel of a really nice graveyard here and I think we've done a good job of kind of spreading some trees around you know little shady spots things like that so let's continue with the work All right, I'm gonna call that the cemetery done right there. I uh, 
this was like completely impromptu and it just turned out so nice i can't tell you how much i love the way this turned out maybe a little over the top but i, I feel like i've definitely seen these kinds of things before uh you know these could be prominent families who've purchased these mausoleums to, to store their generations in if you will and uh i feel like the the flowers and stuff with a perfect little touch the way that all the that all worked out was really nice uh I try not to overdo it too much. I kind of did the, the areas closest to the church as the most elaborate, like potentially some of them might be, you know, particularly old. Some of them might be newer, but maybe these is areas that were reserved for the clergy potentially, uh, or, you know, prominent members of, of the society, things like that, who knows, but, um, yeah, then I tried to keep it, you know, around the outsides. Generally, pretty traditional gravestones with the occasional uh, extra thrown in here and there. Kept it pretty thin down at the end to, you know, to imply that there's plenty more room for, for years to come. I think I got the tree levels just about right. Not too many, not too little. Maybe a couple more in here could have could have come in at some point. Who knows? Maybe I'll revisit this area and. And do a little bit more the last thing i want to do real quick is i just got a few little touch-ups around the uh around the church so that looks real nice for us and uh and then that'll be it for this episode and boy oh boy that would look, look nice Man, looks real nice looks real nice all right let me let me do the church up a little bit here All right, enough tinkering. I'm saying that's good to go for uh, for the church as well. And with that, we are at the end of the episode. I'm really happy with the progress we've made today, adding a couple of really nice pieces to our little town here, including this beautiful church and cemetery, as well as our upgraded high school, which is looking really good and fitting in very nicely with the neighborhood. Really liking the way that looks. We've also upgraded all of our roads, including a really nice improvement to our main street, which is fantastic looking right now. I love it very much. In the next episode, I really want to focus on building some parks and filling in some of these empty spaces to help pull this town together even more. So be sure to tune into that. You're not going to want to miss any of that for sure. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, it makes so much difference if you take the time to drop a like and comment to help improve the video's engagement levels so more people can come find the series and enjoy it as well. For now, you be sure to take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time.